Next presenter is uh, Coach Deanne Butler. Dee has uh, played for the Opals. Uh, she was, uh, again, another scholarship holder at the Australian Institute of Sport. And uh, Kristen and Dee both were part of the AAS women's team that won the WNBL championships in uh, 1999. As a, as a junior team, it was quite a feat. But Dee's uh, also been a head coach of our Australian Gems junior women's program. And she coached them to, uh, to a silver medal uh, at the World Cup in, uh, in 2019, a fantastic effort. She's now coaching with the uh, Diamond Valley Association in, uh, in Victoria, doing a tremendous job for, uh, for Australian basketball. And uh, would you please welcome Coach Dee Butler. <laughs> Dee's going to be talking about uh, closing out and containment defensive footwork. Thanks, Pat. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, like Pat said, I'm going to go through a lot of uh, defensive principles here today. Um, and a lot of it's one-on-one -on -one based. So we can build into rotations, but I, there's a lot to talk about in one-on-one. -on -one, and particularly my observations through under-19s, and particularly this week, is women's basketball, unfortunately, is still a challenge on defending and containing off a closeout. And I think... Um, a really big thing, particularly for coaches here today, every single training, you must be doing something one-on-one -on -one with containment. And, and particularly um, internationally, and we see it here, and whether it's by design, um, because I'm sure you've all been watching the World Cup, uh, there's a lot more focus on being physical and disrupting dribble handoffs or off-ball movement, which then exposes driving lanes. So a lot of the time when it's one-on-one, -on -one, you better be in a stance and contain. And I think whether coaches are allowing that to happen every, every few possessions, I doubt there's a coach that's happy with a blow-by. But, um, you know, it seems to be that at the moment the rotation on the split line isn't there as much. And um, I think that's now putting a lot more um, onus on that one-on-one -on -one containment. Can I get you guys all to grab a ball between two and come over here? Um, so... I guess the biggest focus today on the closeout and I guess the main principle, you must take the, the rhythm shot away on the catch. So we're going to build into that. The rhythm shot needs to be taken away. At least that's covered, okay? And there's particular, come right over here so you can hear what I'm saying because I'm going to get you all to line up here on the sideline. You're going to be demonstrating right in front of everybody here. Uh, so the biggest thing, taking the rhythm uh, shot away. So if we want to keep the basket safe or the key safe, we must be in a stance. We must have an active hand, we have to have correct footwork, and we have to have effort. Okay, so I'm, I need to coach effort here today. So it's not 50%, it's 150%, and everything's played till either a shot goes in or there's, there's a change of possession. Okay, so defensively, it's not the fun part of basketball. Okay, it can be when everybody's in sync, but one-on-one, -on -one, there's times you're exposed and you're, you're exposed, you're vulnerable on a perimeter, and you need to make sure that you've got some things in place to be able to contain. So in pairs, I want you to be in spread out all the way along the sideline here. Both players are standing opposite each other on the sideline, opposite each other on the sideline, just so that the coaches can see here. Yep, spread out. All right, so we're just going to start off with building the principles of defending the ball on the catch. Okay, so if we go with this pair here, so you, triple threat position, Tom Ma talked about it, you've got the ball in uh, triple threat in a stance. So defensively on this here, okay, who defends toes to the three-point line? Who defends forcing baseline? Put your hand up if you force baseline. Yep, so because I know some might still force middle. Does anyone force middle? No, that's all right, that's gone. So... We're going through defending toes to the three here, okay? So on this, okay, again, you're in a stance, nice and low. So I want to see wide stance, balls your feet, hand over the shot pocket, okay? So here, when I say shot pocket, all right, that's the area that she's got to lift the ball to get the shot away, okay? So you've got to have your hand right over that shot pocket. So if that shot goes, she's got to be able to get it over the top. So then that's not a rhythm shot, is it? No? All right, so in a stance, so I want everyone to get in that stance here. Yep. So if she's left-handed, any left-handed? No, if there's a left-handed shot here, you got your right hand out, yeah? So switch it on that. So if the hand, it's got to stay over the ball, okay? So now if the ball now swings and rips through to the opposite side, all right, switch hands, you got your other hand out for balance or in a passing lane, okay? On here, shot, hand over the shot pocket, on, make sure you're on the toes, all right? So offense, I just want you to be able to move it 
between shot, swing it, rip it to the other side, and we're just mirroring the ball. Go. So coaches, if you're building into this, and I'm not saying stop, kids, so keep going. So when you're building into this, just make sure, too, whether you want them to start nice and slow, give them one or two at a time. All right, but now hold it there, girls. So now on this, we're going into Tom Ma's favourite overhead pass. Okay, so as the ball's lifted now to either feet or post, all right, I look for a skip pass, you're jamming. So you need to move your footwork in. So when you're jamming, you're still in a stance, nice and low, okay, and you can have either one hand on the armbar here, one hand on the ball, or two hands up in the air if you trust that you'll be able to contain if she rips it through. Okay, so can I get a demonstration here first? Let's go. Rip it first. Yep, so we're going to build into this. So if I'm defending here, you've got the ball here in triple threat stance. As you lift it, I'm up and in, ball, 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 ball. As you rip it down, I adjust my feet, hand over shot pocket. Okay, let's do that at 100%. Ball. Yep, everyone join in, let's go. Ball. All right, hold it. Offense, this won't work if you're not in a stance and you're not trying to rip the ball through. Let's go. All right, hold it there. Coaches, while you're teaching this, have a look. When the jam goes, every single player, as you've stepped forward, has come out of stance. All right, so defense, I want you to really practice when you're stepping in, stay nice and low. Let's go another couple of seconds. Stay down. All right, reset, just spread out a little bit now here. So offensively, so I like that you're still talking here, so everyone make sure you're helping out with that. All right, so now on this here, so offensively, you can rip, shot, overhead here. Okay, so that's the jam. As you rip through, I just want you to take one hard dribble to your right. Okay, let's go. Okay, reset. So point of reference here, defensively, is on the rip, okay, you still want to stay chest over the toes here, okay, so we're looking at toes to the three-point line on a closeout, so you need to make sure you're keeping the ball, all right, or here ahead in the middle of your chest, so if she's pushing this way, you need to drop step, all right, it's big to bigger, okay, we're not opening the door for a driving lane here, so there needs to be effort, and you need to have your knees bent, let's go again. All right, reset, swap it over. All right, so now we're just going to go one hard dribble to the left-hand side. Okay, so you guys will be watching. All right, so we need effort. All right, lots of intensity, jamming, jumping bat, adjust with the hand over the shot pocket. All right, keep the ball in front, one hard dribble left. All right, hold it there. So there's a real, and clearly just in this, so we've got SDP kids here, we're still coming out of stance, okay? So probably our two best opals at having the right gap and the constant hand and being able to contain Steph Talbot, Darcy Garbin. All right, their hand over the, and their hand pressure, all right, they're gapping, all right, at every time they know their strength, they know their weakness, all right, they know what gap they need. So we need to make sure we're trying to focus on staying down, girls. Yep, all right, bring it down here. Um, we'll just get two lines in each short corner. So we're just going to go through building up now in containment off the dribble. Short corner girls, so out here on the court. With the basketball in two. So um, especially uh, through these small, small group work or one-on-one, -on -one, giving a point of reference particularly all right, until they evolve with their thinking with defence, a point of reference to be able to help them to contain or, or force the ball to is really helpful. So defensively out here, we need defender. Yep. Short corner, bring it in right here. So defender, I want you to start right here on the side. So you're already out of position. Okay, so right now, a point of reference for channelling this is where? Where do you reckon you want to channel the ball to? Yep, or behind the backboard. 
Yep, okay, so yes, that's hard because you might be able to still get that baseline pass, but now you're exposed here and it's almost a blow-by, or it is going to be a blow-by, and now you want to be able to chest bump and make sure she's below the foul line. Uh, sorry, the, ba um, the backboard. All right, so in a stance, all right, there should now be, if I can just be you for one second. So this being, especially for ladies with the hips here, all right, putting that weight down on that hip really helps take a bit of the control away. All right, so being able to push here, all right, and now on this here, we're going to aim for, and again, channel behind the backboard without fouling. As you get closer to the basket, you need to make sure you have your hands out so the rest can see. Okay, so you're going to start on the dribble, pounding when you want to go, all right, that's when you're playing. All right, so you can't go until she starts moving. So start with the pound. You guys are going to be in the line. You're going to set up the same thing, and we're going to alternate sides here. Okay, and you're playing to get a score or to get a stop. You need to shoot a contested layup. Let's go. Next pair, let's go. All right, hold it. So, coaches, you'll all see straight away the defenders want to start here. All right, because it's uncomfortable when you're here, you're already out of the play. Okay, so we've got to start teaching. All right, you've got to keep competing and stay in the play until whether you have your rotations, whether it's stay or go, or whether you might be channeling to a trap or channeling to the help defender. Okay, so you need to, we've got to try and challenge here. You're right on the side, you've had a blow by here. You've got to compete and push her behind the backboard. Good. Let's go. Go back, reset. You've got to wait till she moves forward. Let's go. All right, hold it there. So again, technical, you can really use this arm bar here, okay? Use the hand, get in the lane, okay? But that hand, without pushing out, so you don't get a foul, okay? But we need to try and stay low and use that weight pushing, because that'll also help. Now on this here, all right, there's no off the dribble, it's just when you choose to go, all right? So you, as soon as you put the ball on the floor, you can play. Last one here. So as you can see, obviously this is building up some defensive principles, but it's also we need to keep practicing contested layups too. So it's another way that you can build, you can do it at all positions on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna move on here. So can I get offense out here? Um, and the same thing over there. Defense here on the block with the ball, lines on the baseline opposite. So we're gonna mirror balls on the block. So you just gotta wait on the 45. Okay, so now on this, we're going to just go through um, initial closeout principles here. Again, concentrating on the rhythm shot, take that away. Okay, and then points of reference of where we want to channel the ball. Okay, so if we're looking at toes to the three-point line, so can you just show me a closeout here, take the rhythm shot away, and toes to the three. Good. All right, if you can beat her or you're able to contain her that close... I'm not sure your foot speed at this point, but that might be a bit close here, all right, and using hand to the gap. So this is a real challenge of identifying what's the right gap. All right, and that's where you need to encourage players here to evolve and adjust through the course of a game. All right, if you keep doing the same closeouts or you're getting burnt the same way, you have to adjust. Okay, so as a defender, you need, the onus is on you got to keep, if she blows past you next time, you need to shut it down. Okay, so if I can just be you for a second. So this drill here, it's obviously on the closeout. We're taking the rhythm shot away, okay? So if this is my gap here, I'm not in a split stance, all right? So I'm toes to the three, hand over the shot pocket, take that away, okay? Now, if she's got the ball down on her hip, I know that she's looking to put the ball on the floor, okay? Whether now I want to adjust and I feel I'm more confident I can get closer, I can adjust, or if I feel like I need to adjust and get back a little bit further, then I can, okay? So now on this, just for the purpose of this drill to begin with, you're going to drive baseline, okay? So offense, help us out here. I don't want you to drive there. I want you to drive towards the ring, mm -hmm. right? But you're going baseline, okay? So as a defender, as you come here, my first thing is strike, hand here, and then as the second dribble happens, I'm chest up, 
All right, so I want to take the contact through the chest. Okay, so there'll be a lot of times, and I can guarantee we'll see it here today, that as you drive here, I'll keep coming backwards, and there will be no contact. All right, so hopefully you've been watching the World Cup here. There's a lot of contact here this year. All right, so on the closeout here, as you go here, strike, chest bump, and I'm up. All right, and now I want to try and channel you and get you to the point where you're going towards behind the backboard. Okay, can we get a demonstration here? All right, come back. So again, we'll see coaches here, the, the two hands makes you further out of stance, or we'll see the flying aeroplane. Hand over the shot pocket, and that'll help with some balance with your other hand here. Okay, obviously if you feel comfortable to do that and adjust when you take that shot away, then you can. Okay, so I really want to encourage you to now here, in the stance, the effort of when you get your chest here, that you're now channeling and trying to push as far as you can behind the backboard. All right, let's go swap sides and we'll alternate. Good, chest, great, swap it over, let's go. So if you're after two dribbles, you've contained the drive, swap it over, let's go. Go, next one. Rotate, offense to defense, quick. Oh sorry, the defense to offense, get out there, quick. So make sure they're going against different players too, you don't want to single out just Guards are guards, post to post. Obviously, where there's a lot more versatility. In Keep going, girls. Versatility in athletes these days. So come back. Let's go again. 100% effort. This is the last play of the World Cup. You've got to defend the basket. Chest up. Channel her behind the backboard. Channel. Yep. Let's go. Next one. Good. Good job. All right, reset over here. So as you can see, every single time, except for I think we had a great job on this other side, the drop step happened and we maintain this gap. All right, be courageous, step forward, take the space away. All right, it's not a foul, take the space away, show the refs your hands and get up in and try and channel behind the backboard. Let's go again. Push, yeah, so you've got to push forward. Let's go, next side. Last one here. Good, that's it. All right, swap it over. So now here, we're going to push towards the middle or if there's a middle drive. So on this same thing here, take the rhythm shot away. As it goes, point of reference is foot over the elbow here. Okay, so now you're gonna try and push to the help. All right, so on that rhythm shot, on that here, strike. And now as we get to the second dribble, we're gonna chest up, hands out. Okay, so if you've got the player over this elbow, You've won the mini battle. All right, if you've drop stepped here, we've opened this middle drive. All right, now there's all sorts of things happening. We've got rotation, secondary, third rotation, okay? Let's get an example of that. All right, let's go back. Take the shot away. You've got to have a hand forward. All right, inner stance, ready to go. Hold it. You're going to the middle. Yeah, so especially when you're building this up, they've got one decision. They're only going to the middle. Okay, so you know where she's going. All right, so you should be able to contain this. Let's go, other side. Swap it over. Get in a stance. Keep going, let's go. Move through this. Yep, if you contain them over the foul line, all right, swap it over. All right, reset. So even just with this, they've got one place to go. All right, we're coming out of stance. All right, it's a challenge, you've got to stay down. All right, so especially when you take the contact, so on this first, pass it here. So on this first, as you take the shot, and it's a rip, you've got the strike. All right, now it's the push. You've got to step forward and help with that channel. If you keep giving up space, players are too strong, they're too fast these days, they're going to dictate where they're driving. Okay, so defense without the foul, you've got to be able to push them out of that position. Okay, let's go a couple more. Let's be physical, girls. Let's go. There you go. Good job. Last one here, sorry. Let's go. Good. 
All right, so as you keep going, and I've done this with my team, all right, the first 10 sessions, all right, it was hit and miss, okay? But then the more you play it, the more you practice it, it's second nature now, and you see the physicality, and they're happy to, to take the hit, okay? So that then leads into being able to control where the ball's being channeled, or help whether you're pushing baseline or to the middle. And it'll also be able to assist with any rotation, especially if you are able to take that first or second dribble away. Okay, it just helps put numbers behind the ball. Okay, so now we talk about being exposed or vulnerable on a, on a perimeter. Now you can go either way. All right, so this happens all the time. Skip pass, close out, and we'll be turning, um, practicing some curl cuts and turnouts in a second. All right, but now it's one-on-one. -on -one, you can go whichever way you want. So your job, take the shot away. If she doesn't close out far enough, shoot it. All right, if there's a drive middle or drive baseline, you need to channel to those points. Let's go. Okay, so again, we've got crossover of feet, big to bigger. All right, let's get another pair on the other side. We'll rotate through this. Hand over the shot pocket. All right, put your hand up, players here, if you're happy to take the hit and contain here. Yep, get out here, let's go. All right, so as soon as, as soon as we tell them they're going either way, there's some panic, we've lost the hand pressure, okay, we've lost the stance a little bit after the first dribble. All right, let's contain and channel to a point of reference. Obviously, by the time you get deep or to the middle, there should be help, okay, but you've got to just take that initial containment. Let's go. Good, great. The only thing is, did you have a shot? Yeah, so hand up. Okay, so those little teaching points, you've just, I guess it's over and over and over and over. It's repetition, okay, and attention to detail. So if you let those habits go, or sometimes, or you're not consistent with the hand pressure, all right, the shots are gonna go. And the older they get, and obviously to senior basketball, we're seeing it, hands are still down at times, and that shot's gone. Okay, Sammy Whitcomb, that shot release, that'll go, yeah? All right, um, okay, we're just going to go through now just some short closeouts uh, from pack positions and then we'll build into other um, positions on the floor. So can I get offence here, offence on the wing and uh, defender on both please. So you can evolve this into any of your own defensive principles, whether it's a full denial position, but all right, for the purpose of this drill, balls on the perimeter here. All right, so you are touch distance or hand over the shot pocket in a stance, containing the shot, containing the drive, active hand in the passing lane. Okay, so right now, if we're talking pack, we actually probably haven't seen too much of it. I think Serbia did a really good job of uh, packing down at certain times of this tournament. All right, but again, um, at the start, we talked about a lot of that single coverage. Okay, so in pack position, open arms, open stance here, you're in a position to be able to put some um, pressure on this driving lane. Okay, so to, for the purpose of this drill though, we're overemphasizing the pack. So you're gonna pass here, take that drive away, square that off, toes to three. I want you now to jump to the point where you're here on the side of the keyway. All right, so that's a deep pack position here, all right? This might be, um, um, and I'm not saying you're not, Speedy Gonzalez to get on the boards here. We wanna take that driving line away. Okay, so now, all right, so you guys, after this pass, you're out of it, it's one on one. On this pass here, all right, it's a close out. So especially if you're teaching toes to the three, this can be an issue just from this angle because a lot of players come down at the ball and they open up the dri uh, driving lane. All right, it's the same as a turnout if you're in pack defense and you're defending or locking and trailing and they catch the ball, they're already gone over the top and you're not sprinting to a point on the floor. Okay, so it's the same here now on this pass. You've got to sprint here, especially if you're right-handed. You've got to get yourself to under the ball here, under the line between you and the basket. Okay, now it's a contain. Same principle, hand over the shot pocket, take the rhythm shot away, and now you're channeling again. Baseline or over the foul line here and you guys are out of it, okay? So we'll just get that shift. Yep, rotate, let's go other group, jump up here and we'll rotate through. Okay, so again, the hand pressure. All right, that, it's gonna help, it'll take, it'll give yourself half a step. Yep, ball starts on the wing. Hold it, go back, hand over the shot pocket. All right, so this isn't helping anybody, you doing that. 
you've got to ha have a hand forward. It's really difficult for balance, especially in younger athletes, to be able to get the balance right. Okay, so you've got to practice it. You've got to have your hand over forward. All right, so that shot's gone. Okay, so get on the balls of your feet. Jump to the ball. Good. Play. Good, and keep competing. So you didn't quite get over there, but you stayed with it. Rotate, girls, get over the top here so you're ready to go. Quick. Next pair. Get up, you're right. Rotate, let's go. So offense, if you have a driving lane, you need to take it. If you have a shot, you need to take it, okay? So this is a defensive drill. It won't work if you're not aggressive, all right? So be a scorer, take the shot if she doesn't have her hand over, all right? Take the driving lane if she hasn't closed out properly. Channel. Let's go. Next group, quick, girls. All right, let's go back. So already, all right, we're forgetting the chest bump. All right, so again, we've opened this and now we're being nice about it. All right, and we're now just gonna contest the shot, okay? And that gap's still there. All right, so be courageous here, be confident and step up and take the contact, all right, so you can try and channel. Let's go again. Ball starts on the wing, so you have to adjust. Hand. All right, one last one before we move on, girls. Let's go be physical on this. Good. All right, so we need to keep making sure that we're channeling that, especially that effort, all right, and the stance on that catch. Veely, can I get you to be a screener? All right, so jump down here, girls, on the baseline. Nelson, do you want to be a passer? Can you be, um, Nelson Isley, everyone. So can you be just a turnout screener right here? Coach has got the ball, if he's ready. All right, so I need offense here, head under the rim. Defense here. All right, so you're gonna have your outside foot just on the side of the key. So you're already losing. You're already losing on this. I don't mind if you face this way, All right, but you're gonna be on a lock and trail of this player. Okay, so I'll get you just a little bit higher on that because that's a tough angle. All right, so on the lock and trail, we've seen a lot of this. Um, we'll see it today too. Canada curl really well. We'll make reads off this um, turnout. Okay, so on this, you're going to get in a stance for this curl. You're playing. Okay, so on this, so coach, we wanted to curl. I don't want you to flare. All right, so you're going to hustle on this. So particularly when you're negotiating a screen, so if I'm you and I'm chasing, and we're on this here, we need to get in a stance when we get to the point of the screen. Okay, so if you're trying to get around it, especially there's a bit of movement on these screens, okay, if you're trying to get around it and you're out of stance, you don't have the physicality or the leg strength to do it. So you need to get in a stance, get your shoulder through to try and catch up here. All right, so now, because I've already made this a disadvantage, it's going to be tough, but you've got to stay in it and keep chasing. All right, so on your curl, I want you to get out here to the middle. All right, you now need to compete. All right, so wherever that, wherever that catch goes, all right, now you're in a closeout or you've got to contain. Okay, so you need to either work out. If she catches it, she's still going. Now you're chest bumping and you're trying to get her to behind the backboard. Okay, if she flashes a little bit further high, then you need to close out back to your basket here and be able to push her out of the middle. We're going to play this. Let's see how we go. One. Yep. Compete, get it. All right, swap it over, girls. You need to be ready to go. So we're at a disadvantage here. Okay, tell the coach when you want the ball, but defense, you need to hustle, you're losing. You've lost, you've been hit on two screens over here. You gotta get down and chase this and be able to contest the shot. You, whenever you go, yeah. Chase, 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 chase. Next two, let's go. You gotta hustle. Get it, get it, get it. Come up with possession, let's go, next one. Tell the coach when you want the ball. Let's see if we can get a defensive play here. All right, so now on this here, okay, so 
Once we've shown and exposed now we're going to start in a real position here. So, especially on any turnouts as a defender, all right, and especially if there's screens on both sides, dictate which way you want to send them. Okay, so if you stand a bit like this, all right, you can go either way. I need to take a decision away from you, all right? So I'm on your hip. I want you to go this way, okay, because I'm ready for it. So now on this, I'm maintaining contact. All right, again, stance, shoulders, foot through, so that now I can put pressure on this pass. Okay, so as you come around here, now I can dictate where I want to be able to push this and it's not a deep curl cut. Okay, so now we're physical on this touch here. We'll see if we can get some catches. Let's go, next pair. We want to compete, we want to contest the shot. That's it, hand. Good, square it off. Good. So it's really important, coaches, particularly on this, all right, especially if they're getting hit, all right, it's really easy then to go, oh, I've lost, and I just stay with my hands here, or I'm feeling sorry for myself, or yelling at my teammates to rotate. All right, so you've got to get a hand and stay in the contest, because that peripheral, again, Tom's talked about it, being able to see that activity in the side here might just contest the shot enough or take, make them uncertain of putting the shot up. All right, so now on this one, um, coach, if I can put you over here, can I get an offensive player up here at the point? So we need a defender and offense under the basket. Same thing. No, I don't need a defender on this, so you're gonna be ready to play. All right, so now on this, we talk about repeated efforts, okay? So there's times and rotations, and a lot of teams now are three-way switching. All right, so they might three-way switch off double staggers. They might three-way switch off any um, disadvantage or if a, a player's been screened and taken out, they might end up rotating. All right, so on this play here, okay, so on the curl, same thing. So offense, hard cut. All right, so I want you to stay in your curl. All right, so coach, you can choose to pass here and we stay with the play or pass here. So now on this pass here, that's your rotation, all right? So if Nelson throws it high, now we're closing up the seam, okay? So now, same thing, you've got to take the rhythm shot away, all right? Because you're at a disadvantage, now you're on the rotation. So you've been burnt on that curl cut, there's been a rotation, and we're now playing this. So again, now, vulnerable, middle of the floor, too many options here. So you've got to take the shot away without, <laughs> without fouling. We've seen a lot of four-point plays this tournament. Without fouling, okay, stay in a stance, and you've now got a channel. So from this point of the floor, where do you think you need to channel? Or baseline. Sideline or baseline? Let's go a little closer, just outside the elbows here. <laughs> All right, so same thing to the sidelines. But if you get your player on the drive and you've chest bump and hit them to the point where now they're going outside the key to here, you've won that battle. All right, there's help behind you, there's numbers behind the ball. Okay, so your goal is to close out, take the shot away. So if you're open, you can shoot it. All right, but otherwise then you're on that. Okay, let's see how that goes. Yeah, if you don't get it, yeah, get out. <laughs> let's go. Hand, contest it. Finish, get the ball, let's go. Next pair. Here we go, close out. Let's go, next pair. Throw it early, Nelson, throw it early, throw it early high, yeah. Come up here and throw it early. Right, throw it early so that then she's got this close out. Hi, hand. All right, next pair, let's go. You gotta put the ball on the floor. Yeah. Channel, channel. Yep, let's go again. Hand through. Good. All right, last one here. We're going to kick it high so you know where the ball's going to go. Let's go. Rotate high, high, good. Chest bump, push her out. Good. Good. So, again, you can evolve that into further, further extra kicks. 
Okay, if you have defensive principles forcing a particular way or to the help, or if you want to put further defense behind it so you've got extra rotation. Um, but being able to defend repeated efforts is a big thing. And I think players, they might be able to contain that first one, but then being able to back it up through extra rotations. Because in basketball, rotations are happening all the time. So we've got to keep practicing and teaching it. So now on this here, um, can I get uh, a line down here, offense and defense? Offensive defense. Veely, can you be the passer up the top here? With the ball? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. All right. So this is offense. This is defense. So we're going to go through now defending a high post flash. All right. And then a wing lead. Okay. So we talk about repeated effort. So we're going to go through a couple of things and we need to keep building this. Okay. So if you can be in the middle of the floor, Veely. All right, so you're going to flash. All right, I don't want you to do this sharp elbow here. Sort of high post, all right? So anywhere in the middle of the floor, at the same time you're sprinting up to defend this. Okay, so defending the high post particularly, what do you think you need to do? When, how are you going to defend this? This really has got the ball. Yep, so physical, stance, hand pressure. Okay, so I think particularly this, weekend, uh, this week, we've seen a lot of horns action at the top of the floor. All right, so this pass all right, gives coaches heart attacks when you're seeing them trying to defend and they're all over it with this here, okay? So offense, you need to make sure that you're strong, but defense, all right, you've got to smell blood on this. You've got to try and defend this so that pass can't come because there's so many horns actions in offenses now, okay? So we defend that for a two count. All right, now I want you to peel out and you're going to get the ball on the wing. You're on a closeout and we're playing. Okay, so we defend that for a good two count, so get right up and in, and then I want you to sprint and get the ball when you're playing. All right, let's see how that looks. Yep. Get open and play. All right, next two, let's go. Billy. Hold it, let's go. <laughs> You're smiling while you run up here. I want you to deny the ball. So again, this here, all right, in a stance, all right, hand over the front, push her out of the way. You can push her out of the way, all right, and then play on the perimeter because then you've got closer contact on that lead on the wing. Let's go. Hand, 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 good. Turn out, stance, shot, good. Chase and compete. Let's go, next pair. Good, good. All right, come back here to the wing. So a couple again, teaching points and this again, reminding over and over for these athletes here, great job taking the shot away. Hand was great, gap was great. All right, but as soon as the ball's on the floor, we've kept that space. All right, I really want to encourage you stepping forward and making the contact here. You're not going to get a foul, but you can use your arm bar without pushing. All right, but you need to take that space away and dictate where the drive's going. All right, so next two, let's go. Hand pressure, good. Turn out, close out, good. Chest bump, hands are down, good shot. Hand. Girls, you've got to carry a hand. All right, so everyone, from now on, we've got to make sure that hand's up, okay? So on this here, can I get an offensive player on the wing? Quick offensive player out here on the wing. So now, same thing, flash, defend this. Yep, turn out to the wing. Defense, you know she's now going to drive, so pitch it. Close, take the shot away, drive hard baseline. All the way, get, try and get yourself to the rim. All right, pitch it back out to Veely. Now you're over here and you're on a close out. All right, so again, vulnerable, exposed, all right, repeated efforts. You've got to take that shot away and contain. All right, let's have a go at that. You're playing. Yep. Chest bump, chest, stay down. Hold it. Go back. Ball's got to go to the coach. Kicked over here. Shorten your pass here a little bit too. Yeah. Let's go.
Good, pitch it, close, good. Hand, hand, hand. Good job, girls. All right, grab a seat, thanks. So, obviously, you know, from the very beginning, the build-up that we had, and we talk about footwork, all right, hand pressure, stance, okay? You can see the multiple problems that you have as soon as it becomes active and you're in play. And I think as you go, paying attention to detail is key. All right, if you let those habits go, they just become over and over, and you see it, MBL, uh, WNBL, obviously here, the hand pressure is, I mean, it's a lot more consistent than juniors, but it's still there, and, and kids are getting better at the shot now. All right, they're getting exposed 3x3, three three, they're shooting more. Okay, that transfers to five on five. Okay, so being able to take that rhythm shot away and having the confidence to then be able to contain those first two dribbles is key. All right, so those repeated efforts every practice, right, especially through juniors to seniors, is really going to help continue evolving our women's game. Thank you.